Hello and welcome to PSD Touch Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the great new features of Adobe Photoshop CC. I'm going to talk about the new camera roll retouching features. So you might know that already from another video that you can use camera roll as a filter in this new version of Photoshop. So let me turn this layer into a smart object. And I would like to retouch a couple of things on this photo. First of all, I'm going to choose filter and choose camera roll filter. The main reason why it's good to use uh, retouching features from camera roll is because they are completely non-destructive. It's possible to work non-destructively on a separate layer with the clone stamp tool and healing brushes as well. But here in camera roll, you have every retouching element saved separately. So it's even more non-destructive than working on a separate layer. You might remember the tool called uh, Spot Removal, which you can select from the toolbar or press B on the keyboard. And with this, in the previous versions of Photoshop, uh, we could easily get rid of things uh, from with a circular shape. So with this one, uh, that's the old school mode, just click on something and a camera roll will try to find a sample which can be used for the replacement. So this is uh, the retouched area and that's the sample that uh, Photoshop is using for replacing that part. And it found a good sample point automatically. If I press V, I can turn these um, indicators off and uh, I can also press P uh, as preview to see before and after. So that's Great, but what if we have a little bit more complicated part where we have a bigger area like this? Now, instead of increasing my brush size to a huge area, now we can keep the brush size small and just draw over the area, and that is the new feature. And if I press V, you can see it found a replacement and it works really well. Let's just try this part here as well. And that works again very well. Okay, now let's do a little bit more complicated part. Try to get rid of this tower here on the right. I'm going to draw, uh, maybe start from the bottom and draw all the way to the top. And it worked perfectly. So if I press V, you can see again it found the replacement really well. Now this was an easy image and I can click on OK to accept the changes. But in the next example, I'm going to show you a bit more complicated uh, retouching task. But before we do that, I would like to also show you that the camera roll retouching is now saved as a smart filter. So that's the great thing. If I turn this off, we can see this is how it looked before. If I turn it back on, again, we will get the retouch version. And if I want to make changes to my retouch, all I need to do is simply double click on camera roll filter and then directly inside the camera roll uh, dialog box, we will be able to find all the retouched areas one by one by selecting the spot removal tool. So here we can see the circular one and all the other ones. So we can always go back and select and it keeps both the source and the destination editable. So that's amazing. I'm, I'm really happy for this new feature. Um, but let's see a more complicated task. So in this image, I would like to get rid of, once again, some things like the bikes here on the right, uh, the vehicles on the left, and also some of the scaffolding of, on the building. There's quite a lot of things that we have to uh, retouch here to make this look nice. So once again, I'm going to right click on the layer, convert it to a smart object. First thing first, and then I go to filter and choose camera roll filter. Once we are here, I press B to select the brush and I'm going to zoom closer to this area here in the image. I'm going to make my brush size a bit smaller and I'm going to draw over this bike here on the right. First of all, that's good. Maybe uh, pick another area. Yeah, something like that. Let's see, that works well. And then we can draw over these bikes here. I'll make sure that I cover everything. And that works quite well as well. Uh, we can always use more uh, flowers there. And I think that will, that will do. But I can always decide to include a bit of fence in the uh, image. 
or just move it around until I'm happy with the result. Uh, I can also get rid of repeated elements like that quite easily. So you can even use several um, retouching areas on top of each other. That's also a quite cool feature. And um, I'm going to show you another feature that you can use with this tool. And uh, if you have straight areas like this here, you can hold down shift just like with the brushes in Photoshop. But in this case, it's good to make the size as small as possible. So probably I'm going to use size four and click and hold down shift to draw over the area that you would like to uh, get rid of. And then you can maybe just set it a little bit uh, to the image, I mean the destination, and that looks good. Okay, now we can go to the left and try to get rid of those vehicles, the construction. So I'm going to make the size a little bit bigger and uh, draw over this one here first. Okay, uh, it's actually sampled from another one. So maybe get rid of this one first. Yeah, that was easy. Then get rid of this. Okay, then try to get rid of that. Okay, I'm going to change the sampling. Yes, and then I can make my brush size bigger and draw over this one here as well. Okay, once again, I can change the automatic patching. I can also press forward slash to move that around. And then uh, camera roll is trying to find a replacement. But in this case, I'm going to help it out. And I'm going to choose something like this. Okay, that works. Now let's do the same with this building here. I'm going to draw over the scaffolding and then again help to find a replacement. <laughs> that works really well. Okay, let's zoom a bit closer and I'm going to draw over the scaffolding, make my uh, brush size smaller, and draw over this part here. Okay, once again, press forward slash and second time it found a much better replacement. Another scaffolding part here. Again, I press forward slash until it finds a good location. That works really well. And then the last one here. I should just draw over this as well. And uh, press forward slash until it finds something. Or if it can't, then I will choose one place. Uh, for replacement and that looks good okay so if we zoom out we can see by pressing P that was before and this is after so that's quite a lot of changes done completely non-destructively here in camera row I'm going to click on OK and I'm going to show you one more thing and that is how to find spots on your image much easier than before these spots can be the cause of dust in either in your lens or on the sensor of your camera. And once again, I'm going to use smart object uh, combined with the camera roll filter used as a smart filter. So let me choose that. And here, once I have spot removal tool selected, we have a new feature called visualize spots. You can press Y to enter that mode and you can always change the intensity of this. And usually when you uh, put it all the way on to the top, then you will start to see all these little uh, spots on your image. And in this case, you don't have to draw over them. You can just simply go and draw or add these little points there until you get rid of them completely. And once we go over it, we can be sure that the whole image is cleaned. So if I press Y again, you can see that we actually had to add a lot of little points and I can press V and we have a perfect image. So there's no problem with these spots anymore. If I click on OK, we can see it will update nicely. These features will save you a lot of time and it will help you to work completely non-destructively with your retouching through camera rule filter used as a smart filter. And if that wasn't enough, Make sure you check out all the other new features of Adobe Photoshop CC here on PSD Touch Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention.